briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit in 1995 heard the case Simon v. Commissioner, in which professional musicians Richard and Fiona Simon sought to claim depreciation deductions for antique violin bows under tax law. The commissioner resisted the claim, arguing that the bows did not meet the requirement for depreciable property. The key issue was whether the Accelerated Cost Recovery System, ACRS, of the Economic Recovery Tax Act of 1981 modified the determinable useful life requirement for depreciable property. The court ruled that property subject to the allowance for depreciation includes only property that is subject to exhaustion, wear and tear, or obsolescence based on the recovery property provisions of Section 168. It also clarified that taxpayers cannot depreciate valuable property expected to appreciate in real economic value. Ultimately, the court held that property subject to depreciation referred to property experiencing exhaustion, wear and tear, or obsolescence within the tax law's recovery property provisions, ruling against the commissioner's argument. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.